Well, good morning, folks. Welcome back to the farm. Today, today is going to be a whew, hair straight back kind of day. Head down, ass up. Just giving her. Because, yes, it's haircut day. The sheep shear is coming. So I'm just going to do a bit of a flight of the bumblebee last minute prep. I worked quite late last night getting the barn all ready to get the sheep in and kind of have a bit of a handling system there. But I need a big tote to put all the wool in. And then uh, I need a couple sheets of plywood just to have kind of a shearing floor just to keep all the straw and the muck and everything. Not that there's a lot of muck, but just, you know, the, the, the little bits that always get in the wool. Keep it out of the wool and then get it bagged up. We're not selling the wool. I actually use it uh, either as a mulch layer or as an insulating layer in outbuildings or something like that. But uh, I'm not really sure exactly what we're going to use this stuff for this year. But I'm just going to keep it. I mean, never hurts to have some around. And uh, 2 o'clock in the morning one day, if I like, I should use wool for that. I'll have some available. First things first, though. <laughs> Got to move some chicken tractors. This one's completed this row right here. And we're in the process of making the curve and swing them back. And we're going to go down there. By the time they get to those bales, it's going to be butchering day. <laughs> you can see this area is just rife with dandelions. Like just make a wish. Not having much luck with that. Anyways, <laughs> is that a problem? I know a lot of people work to eradicate dandelions. But here's the thing. This little dandelion leaf is a superfood, is absolutely packed with nutrition. It's full of vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K, as well as calcium. So pretty important, right? It's also telling me that there's soil compaction in this area, and the roots work to break up that, uh, that compaction. It is a great, great place to uh, actively store and regenerate carbon in the soil. So do I want to keep dandelions? Yeah, yeah, I want to keep dandelions. Not to mention, they're literally one of the first flowers that the pollinators can come in and get a source of food from. No bees, no food. Don't care about farmers, right? You know, oh, no farmers, no food. Yeah, no bees, no food. Horse before the cart. You might be wondering why calcium? What is, yeah, this milky white stuff that when you break the dandelion, it's almost pure calcium. When you're dealing with meat chickens like these Cornish Cross, they put on weight so rapidly that their bone structure can be impacted. Now, if we can give them natural calcium, help with their bone density and bone growth, that's wonderful, right? We don't have splayed leg chickens. We don't have anybody with broken legs, broken wings, anything like that. So it actually has an impact on bird health. The other thing, because we have a whole bunch in behind our laying hens chicken house. They eat all this dandelion. And funnily enough, throughout late spring, early summer, they hardly eat any oyster shell because you're getting enough calcium from these dandelions. Fun fact of the day. Well, I think we're ready. Just wait for the shearer to show up. Boy, it's gonna be loud. It's gonna be real loud in here today. Especially when we get 25 sheep in this handling pen. Earmuffs. So it's a pretty crude setup, but I'm hoping it works. Our pulley system, well, the, the bucket's hanging on it right now, but that's where the shearing arm is gonna hang off of. I got power up there for the light already. This is gonna be our shearing area. Put down two sheets of plywood just for a nice clean floor. That's gonna be our storage handling area for the ewes that are unshorn. The rams are gonna stay right here. When the ewes are done, they can go out that door. When the rams are done, they can go in the trailer.
Well, everybody shit showered and shorn, so I think it's time for a cup of tea and then we'll try and get everybody back out to pasture again here. Go on, fellas. Up you go. Up, 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 up. Come on, hey, no, go that way. Up you go. Good boys. Are you ready, Charlotte? Don't let any sheep through. Come on out, boys. Oh, looking mighty fancy now. Ranger back, Ranger back. Ranger, come, Ranger, come. come. Charlotte, 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 stop, stop, stop. <laughs> well, let me tell you, there's fiascos and then there's whatever the hell just <clears throat> choking on a mosquito. That makes it even much better. There's fiascos and then there's whatever the hell just happened here. So we'll have two thirds of the sheep in the trailer. And not because I left any behind sitting in a barn or, you know, in a corral or anything like that. No, they like through the panel and out and they're in with the horses now. A mixed, a mixed bunch of uneven numbered ewes and lambs. Completely mismatched. Uncontrollable, wild, feral even perhaps. On the loose, somewhere on the farm. All I can really do now is open this door let out what i got i hope the rest despite the fact that despite the fact that wherever they are as lush and as green as this hope i can coax them into the into the corrals again and negotiate their way but of course it's it's mavis it's gertrude it's olga it's duchess like just miserable one like just i don't know like should be, should be sent up the road. They're all boss use, but not in a good way. They all got that mind that's like ignorant. Ignorant, that's what it is. Just downright ignorant. Anyways, I'm gonna work with what I have to work with for now. Come on out, ladies. Show everybody your new haircuts. Oh, real fancy, hey? It's like a clown car. Is that it? That's it, that's all. Go get some grass. You know, sometimes you think the day just couldn't get any worse. Then the wife runs over some old trampoline frame with the ride on lawnmower. And uh, now the thing won't even run. What an adventure this is going to be. Mm. Oof. Boy, that sure did a number on it. I think we got off super lucky there. Just a chunk of inch and a quarter steel pipe managed to pull it out. And uh, surprisingly, no damage done. So take that horseshoe for everything we can get out of it. Actually, you know what? I've never really been one to hang on to a horseshoe. I find them, I find them burn my fingers. So I'm going to use it. See if we've got any luck. See if we can fire up old Yeller. I got the battery charger on. Choke on. Yeah. Well, well, it would seem old Yeller lives. And that lucky thing, that horseshoe, is stuck around. Because as luck would have it, the sheep just walked right back into the lambing pen. And I just was able to walk up and close the close the panel. So they are contained. They're not at large anymore. They're not in the barn. They're not in the horse trailer. They're not out on pasture. But at least they're contained. That I can deal with. That's some luck that I'll be happy to accept. So I think I better quit while I'm ahead. So hope your tea is hot and your beer is cold and you have a fantastic day. And we'll see you tomorrow.